Okay, welcome to my channel Caterpillar Junan. I'm here with again. So, to show you something very interesting. Okay, regarding about 966 Shoal Caterpillar. So, I'm here inside the cab. I'm going to show you so uh, and also some little uh, part of my troubleshooting how to find it out where the problem is it okay so follow me in this video so we will show you something that you will be uh, interested to I don't know if you have become, become uh, good and uh, interesting for everyone but this video is uh, the engine it is like uh, you know it is on and off okay we will use we will show you something now this is the situation i'm going to start i will start up Looks like uh, it's going to stop. You can see it's very The engine is going to almost go. Now, the problem uh, I have to start the troubleshoot. Where is it? What is this? As we can see, the monitor. It is not uh, like normal. See? It is showing on and off. So the same as the power uh, is getting loose or short circuit. That's is happened. Okay. So just uh, stand by and uh, continuously watching in this video, and then we will try to do the to do my best to find it out where is the problem. Okay, so I will shut it off the video right now. So once I'm going uh, to open something that the, is starting the troubleshooting, I will show you little regarding about that how I found it but uh, at first I'm going to use a laptop just for a good uh, diagnostic compare the, this monitoring system so you can see this is the monitoring system you should have to press two times okay that's a trouble code it is showing yeah that's the active and then uh, Okay, not active. That's active. Okay, active. That's the way how you can find it out. The uh, error code. Okay. Don't hesitate. Say, uh, send us a message if you any confused or uh, or you want to know about it regarding about this problem. So we will show you something. We will uh, reply you as soon as possible as uh, I see the message, okay? And then we will give you a feedback regarding, regarding about what you wanted to know, okay? Yeah, hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> this is the continuation of my video regarding about the, the this show 966H, okay? So, at the first of this video, I uh, I've uh, seen I've uh, showed there how the machine affected or uh, how the machine in a defect or a problem uh, just because of uh, same as a misconnection based on the error misconnection from the ECM uh, engine ECM and to the implement okay now what I have made is okay i've tried now i will show you something 
this is the rear side of the operator set seat ah sorry seat 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 eh okay I have tried already at this ECM as you can see this is the ECM okay this is the implement okay that's the implement I'll try to remove the implement uh, socket and then check this wire this wire is the data or the link data link okay so this is the the, the orange color is the pass the positive data positive link and then the brown is uh, the data negative link okay i'll check it through the ground based on the troubleshooting of the caterpillar so the continuity well if the engine i forget to show in this video but uh, don't worry we'll, uh, do the, we will do the best i can to explain it very carefully okay based on this uh, the continuity through the ground and the caterpillar troubleshooting once did you check the wire to the ground it must be 5k or uh, 5000 Okay, this is the line what I'm showing in this video. Okay, according to the video, uh, I make this screen uh, video. Okay, this is the cut data link that I've shown uh, showing on the video. This is the identification. As you can see, cut data link and uh, cut data link positive and negative. 944, the orange. Uh, orange color of wire and then 945 it is a brown color of wire that's both uh, both data link and then it is connected other data link is linkage to the other ECM can data link it is a uh, green okay 795 and uh, 794 orange it is connected to the other the uh, Okay, so about the connection, the co communication between ECM to the ECM, as we can see. So this is the transmission. It's also connected because uh, this must be communicated by what we call link, okay, or data link. So you can see the orange and green wire this uh, lower side of the ECM okay now 794 and 795 and then the other uh, link also the other socket it is a uh, 945 and 944 it is orange and brown okay cut data link negative and cut data link positive okay so about the messenger is also connected because that uh, there is the receiving the signal if there is a problem about the function of the ECM or uh, any function of the machine the messenger will uh, going to show you or uh, giving you the code regarding about the problem so sorry where is it now so at anyone who like to know on uh, would like to have this uh, uh would like to have this uh, what we call diagram just send me a comment and the comment box and then uh, we will give you through whatsapp if you have a whatsapp it's more uh, 
reliable and uh, easy because the whatsapp is a big capacity of uh, transferring a uh, file so they can transfer easily in a very fast way of uh, transferring okay this is the messenger okay as you can see the messenger it is also 945 brown orange aha uh -huh. where is it now uh, I Yeah, this is the messenger 945 so the wire color is also brown and orange so this line is communicated to to receive and transfer data okay so we hope in the, this video can get uh, some uh, more ideas so you can see the other ECM also through the data link or cut link Okay, see, it is na seven nine four, based on the wiring. Uh, this wire is a uh, color orange and green. It is a uh, like twisted wire. That means that wire is a uh, connection for data. Okay, and also the other one, see, it is brown and orange. That's also connected as a twisted wire. Okay. Thousand ohms in resistance. Or higher, it is okay. But normally, we need to find out 5000K. So, the, the, the line... It is a uh, orange. I found uh, nothing. It is a uh, zero. No communication from uh, engine ECM to here in this uh, implement. Okay, is the implement. Okay, and then the brown color. I found a continuity around the. Uh, yeah, it is uh, one thousand. 1400 oh no no sorry 1800 the continuity so meaning to say there is a problem the communication uh, the line or uh, not uh, on the line exactly because I inspect the harness the harness is good but I have done make uh, I make something at the back to make it sure that this link this line will be uh, connected uh, without short to the other uh, wire or to the ground okay so base and the continuity uh, the orange is uh, almost zero no continuity at all and then the brown i found around 1800 more than 1800 something okay that continuity meaning to say the normal must be 5 5k or uh, 5000 ohms okay normally both line okay but uh, i couldn't found it the continuity like that so meaning to say there is a problem why the engine ecm is in a fluctuation or once that is running the engine is uh getting like a what we call is a intermittent okay so this is the line i make i would like to show so all my viewers if uh, this type of troubleshooting you will be interested so I've seen something that I have make okay now this is the line I was told this is the link from this ECM and to, to all data connection of the monitoring mini monitoring small monitoring that's all connected in one line okay so what i made i cut from main harness in this uh, main harness i cut it and then i put direct in this wire this wire is uh, covered by uh, insulation so i connected it there at the back so you can see there is an open line that's the data link that going to connect 
to all the link of uh, mission or oh, the data connection okay but it is not it will not uh, work as a uh, normal so the old ECM is still uh, removed just because I want to make it sure that the problem is in the ECM at first when I started before I suspected that the ECM is the problem usually if that uh, the acceleration is uh, like on and off on and off on and off or almost uh, shutting down that usually happen exactly the ACM is damaged or sometimes it will be caused by, because of a uh, harness but now I have one ACM here this ACM it is came from other uh, shovel 966 also but luckily I have the breakdown uh, 966 here so it is good so I remove and then fix I already tested but this is ECM is working well completely work and then the error uh, error was showing always on the monitor it is all gone once this ECM I fix I fix okay so meaning to say the problem only is uh, engine ECM okay now I have a 345 ECM the power supply and have, uh, communication is the same but this ECM was before the same problem the engine will run and then just a few minutes and then the same as uh, going to shut it up and then again resume the acceleration shut it up the same like that so I test it here so the engine is run as we can see this is a 345 ECM we're going to testing it this is for my experiment but don't do it by yourself if you don't understand about the harness or the connection so I already uh, check the connection power supply it's almost the same only the difference is the part number and the program but that is came from uh, 345 okay maybe if I try to reprogram I can make it the uh, same as a uh, this shovel okay now I'm going to start now I'm going to start we can see it is running okay but the difference or uh, the problem is how I uh, how I uh, oh. How I, found, uh, how I found the problem Wait. how I found the problem with the old ECM or the original ECM this ECM also is the same because I removed from 345 the same problem so now as you can see this video and then I will uh, put it the, uh, I will put the original ECM that came from <coughs> other the 966 uh, shovel okay uh, I've started to troubleshoot this shovel 
last uh, few days ago but uh, I couldn't have more time to troubleshoot because I have so many words yeah. so now because uh, maybe I'm lucky just easily to, uh, to found the problem because we have some other shovel that break down here okay engine problem but now what to do uh, because uh, my supervisor they told that ECM once we found the ECM is good it will work well we'll fix it okay so follow me this video in this video and then uh, we will show you about the ECM that I've shown that I'm going to fix it okay uh, again this is the removal time of this ECM so this ECM again I uh, would like to tell everyone this is uh, for the 345 machine used to testing in a 966 okay as you can see I already removed and then I'm going to fix the other ECM that came from other 966 shovel this troubleshooting it is not easy because the ECM is not just a small amount so uh, but luckily I have another uh, shovel breakdown here it is an engine problem so it's more easy for me to troubleshoot okay. now the testing again of this ECM just to show that the ECM is the problem before okay just a second now I already fixed so you can see the situation and then the other ECM is uh, inside is still there now I fix like a hung this harness ah uh, the ECM okay we're going to start to see what is the result okay I would like to advise anyone if you do this uh, process or uh, you do this type of uh, troubleshooting or testing make sure the battery is switched off and then switching on once everything is uh, fixed and also I'm not advising to anyone just do this type of process if you are not expert or understand about the diagram or the connection of the ECM to the system okay you have to make it sure that the connection will be uh, the same to the other and just do this uh, this process testing and an uh, experiment because I understand that the connection it will be the same the only problem that is an excavator and then the other the machine I'm going to test is a shovel okay so now okay switch on switch on and then start Again, so just to make it sure that the ECM will be adopted the uh, complete setting of the whole machine, I have to stop it again. And then wait a few seconds and then start. We can see the monitor before is showing an error uh, showing so many errors that show that this side is service serve serve of uh, serve. This side is writing if that error is active, it's it show the serve word that here this side. Okay. okay. Now that's all the 
blood error but it is not activated or uh, not active meaning everything is working well okay you can see the acceleration and then the up and down of the engine it's not showing or uh, not serial number to make it uh, registered in this machine okay so, thanks god that my work is uh, done so i have some other work to do here but uh, they are waiting for uh, parts okay this is the good news of our company so you are free to do what you want as long as uh, you do with care, okay? It is not just because they let you do what you want. You don't need to care. You should have to care also to make it sure that your job will be done properly. Okay? This is it. So I hope in this video that uh, someone uh, will uh, know uh, idea how to do or what to do about their machine if there is a problem. So uh, the only way I can advise it, just you need to make it sure that before you do this step, make it sure that the harness it will be in a good condition. Okay, so make it sure that the harness it will be in good condition. So make your analysis will be sure ball. The that's the main reason or uh, that's the main problem or the main cause of the problem. It is in the ECM, okay? So I'm not advising to any electrician or a uh, junior electrician do this step unless you understand about this, uh, about the what we call it is the wire wiring connection and then the proper usage of uh, ECM, the proper connection, okay? And then uh, you should have to do or uh, this way or this work by the uh, together with a specialist or uh, the people who understand. Okay, don't do it uh, by yourself without any uh, support of the specialist or uh, the expert. Okay, I'm just do this video just to give an idea for someone that something is happened. You can do this uh, uh, way of uh, troubleshooting. Okay? So, thanks. Thanks for everyone. And then thanks to all the subscribers. Uh, all, always continuing or following my video. Uh, and stop uh, following my video. So, thanks to all of you. We hope uh, that every video that I make will be help, helpful for uh, your needs. Okay? And then thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you think that this video is uh, interesting and uh, very helpful. Okay, share to anyone that uh, need uh, help or some uh, for their uh, problem. Okay, okay, bye bye. Again at your service, Caterpillar Junhang. Uh, send us any of uh, your comment or uh, any uh, opinion or suggestion. Don't hesitate to send on the, uh, on the comment uh, box, okay? Any question about uh, how to do, what to do on your machine, just send us your comment. I'm happy to respond to you and uh, we will give you the best as I can, the proper response or the proper solution about the problem you need, okay? Thanks again, Caterpillar Junang at your service. Okay. This was the connection I made before. It is regarding about the communication for all the ECM, okay?
so the problem is not in this wire I'm just only thinking maybe the damage is in the wire so that's why I make the jumper or uh, what I mean I keep it uh, use outside wire to make it sure that the communication between the ECM to ECM will be working but uh, I didn't see any problem about that line okay so now uh, I almost almost done this machine so we replace the ECM as you can see that's the ECM it is a black color before the original one is a yellow color so if you think that this video is very interesting so can you kindly uh, send us a message or a comment something if you need to know what uh, about regarding in this uh, machine so send us your uh, comment I'm happy to respond to you as soon as possible or uh, the best as I can okay so we hope that this video will be helpful uh, help for anyone that facing that this type of problem okay so again this machine is a 966h okay the problem is a acceleration so the engine instead of a, a straight of idle continuously in idle position the engine is same as a look uh, the sound or uh, the function the running in the engine same as a uh, on and off that's a problem okay so it is almost done i'm just only need to complete because the wire i was cutting before i'm now making join it again it is not a uh, hundred percent or a uh, but I will make the best I can that the connection will not be uh, disconnected or uh, will be putting tape properly and then the joint will be putting uh, very well jointed very well so this work will be 100% uh, it will run long time okay before it's showing so many errors but now everything is done every error uh... it's a little service mode it's showing us here there is an error but this is for an uh, alternator there is a green wire showing a uh, uh, green wire attached to the alternator that is this indicator it came from there Okay. So maybe the wire is a lost connection. So 